This is a typical sand and compressor for Jeeps or Dodges. And you can convert these pretty easily to an air compressor to air up your tires. So all you have to do is provide 12 volts to lock up this clutch. And there's already a plug in here for the air conditioner to uh, supply 12 volts. So you ground one side right here, ground that side, and then the other one you add 12 volts to it and it'll lock up this pulley. All right, and the other thing you have to do in the back is cut the Freon hoses. And uh, this is the intake right here. And then this is the outtake and I use the compression fitting so that I can thread on some brass fittings here so that I can add this little um, quick connect right here. All right, so that's that's it. Um, I mean, all this stuff you can get at the hardware store. This compression fitting is, you know, fits whatever size this is, and um, and then just uh, set it up so you can put a quick connect on here. I'll uh, take a video of it running next, so you can see how this clutch locks up. All right, I basically just have a switch to put 12 volts to this, and it'll lock up the clutch, and then you'll see air coming out of here. Now um, the simplest way is just this and then you'd have to have a air valve that's continuously flowing because um, you need if you want it to shut off at a certain pressure you need to put a regulator in here but if you're just running it to fill up air, air in your tires there's no need to regulate it you can just let this thing pump air all the time it'll just have you have to make sure you have a, a flow through fitting the, um, filler fitting all right so it doesn't build up pressure but if you want it to build up pressure then you're gonna have to put a regulator and I'll have to show you that later but anyways for the simplest thing to do is get the compressor if your air conditioning isn't working you know cut the lines in the back put some fittings compression fitting first thread it out to whatever elbows you need so that you can get a fitting for a quick connect on here all right, and then the other thing you have to do again is to get 12 volts so that you can lock up this clutch so it pumps air. All right, um, I think that's it.